folks, I'm Tori. Welcome to Bass Strategy. Today we're going to be doing a bearing replacement in my Cronark CI4 Plus Baycast Reel. So you might be wondering why replace bearings in your reels. So replacing your bearings every five to seven years is a good maintenance procedure to do on your Baycast Reels. So over time, you may notice your casting performance in your reels slowly has declined and to keep your reel performing at a high level over the course of 10-12 years which you should get out of a good quality reel is a good way to keep it performing at that high level. So another reason why folks like to replace bearings in their reels is to upgrade their bearings. So I use Shimano reels and they're already come with some high quality bearings, but if you purchased a um, less expensive reel, upgrading your bearings is a great way to really improve your casting distance. So down in the video description, I'm going to provide some links to some places you can get bearings, both stock bearings for your reels and then some aftermarket bearings as well. I do want to point out the cost of this job is about $55. To replace this reel is $280. So for $55, I'm able to get another five years easily out of this reel. So even though it's a little bit more expensive, it is saving me the cost of replacing a reel to bring it back up to that high performance. So let's go. This is a really quick and easy job, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so I got my reel here. One of the best times to replace the bearings in your reel is right after you finish doing your cleaning of the reel. So I, take, I just took everything apart on this Baycast reel, and clean it all out. I'm ready for reassembly and I'm going to put in my new bearings. Um, so I have four of them here I'm replacing and the first three I'm going to replace are the most important to this bearing replacement. I'm going to replace them first. I have two of them going into my uh, right side plate. This is where my handle is and there's two of them that go right in here. Take the first one, I got my first bearing, and I'm going to take a just a drop of oil, and I'm going to put a drop of oil on there, mostly so at this stage that it slides right into that cavity. I'll we'll put it in there. Use a Q-tip to help push it down into that space. And then there's just a little spacer that I'm going to put in here before the second bearing goes in. Before I put that second bearing in, I'm going to just give a drop of oil on each side of this new bearing. I'm going to put in the next bearing. There's the next bearing. Same thing, I'll put a drop or two into that cavity. And I'll add another drop of oil to the top. This side plate, there's just a little locking spring that goes on for this reel. Now your reel may only have one bearing that goes in here. This one has two, so I changed out both. But just take a look at your schematics and see how many bearings uh, should be going into this spot here. You have at least one. All right, now that one's all set, and then the next bearing I'm going to put in is going into my left side plate. And it goes right into this cavity here. There it is. Just give a 
drop of oil or two. I want to put a drop inside of this cavity here. Just a drop is fine, looks like that. That looks like a nice amount in there. And I'm going to place this in here. It'll slide in. And then there's just a little clip that goes in that'll lock that bearing in place. That one's all set. Now I just have one more bearing that I like to replace when I'm doing my bearing replacements, and that's the one that goes underneath the drive shaft. So I've disassembled my drive shaft here, and there's a bearing that's going to sit right on top of here. So the reason why I like to uh, replace the bearing on this is because it's a high wear part. This is where your handle is always turning, um, and I find that not only does it get worn out, but it also um, the oil that's inside there breaks down pretty quickly, so um, I like to replace that bearing. If you ever hear a noise as you're turning your reel, it just sounds a little bit noisy. Um, a lot of times it's that bearing in there, so if you swap, swap it out, it's going to be perfectly quiet again. So at this reel, I have to put on uh, this, this piece first. before my bearing, and then this bearing is going to go on top of here. Same thing as before, I'm just going to put a drop of oil on there to help it go on. Just like that. And now I can get the little washer that goes on top of here. And then a C-clip that locks it in place. Alright, and that one is all set. Now, some people don't like to change out this bearing. This one is kind of an optional bearing. Um, it doesn't affect your casting at all. Like I said, it's just uh, became, can become noisy um, as you're reeling in sometimes. And I just like to swap it out. Um, this bearing is one of the least expensive of all the ones that I'm replacing. so. Um, I just took the time to replace it um, more of a as a proactive measure. So I'm just going to put a drop of oil on this bearing on the outside here, and then on the inside cavity where it'll be sitting. And then I can put this in. And now I can resume the rest of my assembly. So that's it. That is a bearing replacement. And now... Um, now this reel will cast just like it was when it was new. So every five to seven years is a good interval to replace these bearings. And if you guys need any help uh, with your reassembly of your reel, uh, take a look at my Baycast reel, a general maintenance video that I did a couple weeks ago, and it'll take you from reassembly all the way from this point. All right, guys, there it is. Really quick and easy bearing replacement. And now this reel is going to last me at least another five years at a very high performance level. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. If you like this video, give me that like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.